Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm your host, Annie Duda. Any student who still has artwork in Miss Johnson's old room, A4, can pick it up anytime until September 25th. After that, the projects left in the room may be thrown out. Attention students taking the SAT test here on Saturday. Please remember to bring your admission ticket, another form of, or photo ID, number two pencils, and an approved calculator with you. You also must have a face covering to be admitted to the testing center. Please reach out to Ms. Albright with any other questions. Do you want to make a difference in your local community? Want to be a part of a national movement across America? Learn to be a great leader while making a real impact through Chick-fil-A Leader Academy. Join over 18,000 other students in 600 other high schools nationwide in a leadership program focused on impact through action. Go to chickfilaleaderacademy.com slash apply to apply now for a spot in Chick-fil-A Leader Academy in your school this year. 30 grade Latrobe students in grades 9 through 12 will be selected for the program this year. The deadline to apply is Monday, October 12, 2020. Please see Ms. Koss in F202 with any questions. Any sophomore wishing to take the PSAT must register in the counseling office by October 2nd. No registrations after this date will be accepted. The test will be administered during the school day on October 14th, and the fee is a $17 payment and will be accepted in the form of a check addressed to GLSD. The office does not have change. The ASVAB test is also administered on this date and provides valuable information regarding career choice. There is no fee for the ASVAB. All sophomores will take one of these tests on October 14th. Registration for the Scholastic Art, Art and Writing Awards are now being taken. Visit www.artandwriting.org for information about the competition. The deadline for entries is December 1st. There are opportunities for scholarships as awards, and there are 17 art categories and 11 writing categories. Anyone who is interested should stop by Dr. Bompiani Smith's room, H104, during Lunch and Learn after 1125. The Environmental Club is returning to the high school this year. If you are interested in becoming a club officer, please contact Senior Lily Rydilla via email. Officer elections will begin Friday, September 25th and close Sunday, September 27th. Applications to be a member or associate member of the Greater Latrobe chapter of Mu Alpha Theta are now open and can be found in your school email. See or email Casey Elder, Reese Petrosky, Dominic Robinson, or Ms. Doyle with any other questions. Scholarship opportunities are now updated and accessible through the new Google the new scholarship Google Classroom. Join today to receive notifications as the list will continue to grow. See Ms. Hager in the guidance office with any questions. Join the classroom with code 5JT4R7Z. Any 9th through 12th grade student who has performed volunteer services with their community and is interested in being recognized for their efforts is asked to stop into the guidance office to see Ms. Hager for details about the Prudential Spirit of Community Awards. We go now to Student Council President David Ann with some information about homecoming. Good morning, Greater Latrobe. I hope all of you have been having a good return back to school. Unfortunately, due to the current situation, homecoming is postponed indefinitely until restrictions and guidelines are lifted. Thank you for your understanding. Thanks, David. Now here is Jaden Alessi with the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today's weather forecast is a high of 77 and a low of 51 with overcast skies. Tomorrow, it's about the high of 79 with a low of 56, along with some partly cloudy weather. Saturday, we have a high of 78 and a low of 60 with more partly cloudy weather. That's a three-day forecast. Back to you, Annie. Now, here's Luke Hamity with the Wildcat Sports Report. Here is your Wildcat Sports Report today. Your boys' varsity golf team heads to Manor Valley for a match against Penn Trafford at 2 p.m. The boys' soccer team battles the Hempfield Spartans on their turf at 7.30 p.m. To finish up the night, the Latrobe girls' volleyball team takes on the Fal Connellsville Falcons on their hardwood at 7.30 p.m. We go to sports reporter Brandon Fetter with a look at what is happening in the world of sports. Thanks, Luke. Today, the Lakers take on the Nuggets at 9 p.m. in the bubble. Your Steelers last week went, we, weekend won against the Broncos 26-21 to start their season off strong with a 2-0 record. Big Ben threw for 311 yards with two touchdowns and one interception. That's all for sports. Back to you, Annie. Thanks, Brandon. We go now to Alexis Coletti with Wildcat World News. 
Good morning, Wildcats. In the last week, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away from cancer. The family of Breonna Taylor has received $12 million in a wrongful death lawsuit from the city of Louisville, Kentucky. Finally, Southern California was hit by a 4.5 magnitude earthquake about 10 miles from Los Angeles. That's all for Wildcat World News. Now here's Harley Cochran with Entertainment News. Thanks, Alexis. This week in Entertainment News, there's some major backlash with this year's Emmy Awards. The Emmys have received some heavy criticism for their In Memoriam segment of the show. Fans took to Twitter upon the omissions of Kobe Bryant, Nick Cordero, and many other stars who have passed this year. Scrub star Zach Braff expressed his disappointment for the lack of inclusion of Nick Cordero, who passed in July due to COVID-19 complications. The Emmys argued he was mostly known for his Broadway shows, although he appeared in numerous television shows throughout his career. Many fans were also disappointed that Kobe Bryant wasn't included. The ultimate reason being that he wasn't a TV actor. Fans were still upset, saying that he was a small screen mainstay while entertaining fans during the basketball season. These deaths have touched many people, regardless of being left out of this segment, and we continue to honor them today. Now back to Annie in the studio. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe.